The best way to understand how a bladeless fan works is to build one, so let's get started. For today's project we only need a big water container and also a plant vase. I choose one with this shape so that we can create a much powerful air flow. So the first thing I need to do is remove the bottom part of the vase that isn't necessary and this is the result and I have to go inside the big water jug. So remove the bottom part, I will use a grinder to do this and the parts fit together perfectly. Now I will use a marker to mark the height of the vase and mark it just half centimeters above. Cut it using a grinder following the line. Now I will take some plexiglass and make a cap. With the marker I mark both circles. Remember to make the inner circle a bit smaller of the vase, so it's 3 mm smaller than the vase. Later you will understand what I'm talking about. The plexiglass cap fits perfectly and you can see now that it is half centimeters higher than the inner vase. Let's take now the bottom part of the water jug and cut away 4 centimeters from it. Cut it so that I can make a small circle and this little circle will go inside the plexiglass cap and secure it in place using some glue. Now that all parts are made, it can fit together like this. You can see that the smaller circle fits perfectly inside the plant vase, leaving just a little bit of air. Paint everything in white so it looks cooler and nicer design. Now, to blow air inside the fan, I will use another vase. Also transparent vase, so to keep the, the design cooler. So, remove the bottom part so that air can flow better. The air source in this case is a microwave fan and I will secure it in the middle of the vase using some wood boards. The vase in this case will go on the side of the plastic container, mark the shape and cut a hole big enough. I will secure the parts together using a good amount of glue. A good glue, in this case polyuretanic glue. So I'm very happy on how it looks like, it's very nice, a nice design, but also very interesting. So we have a fan here below that push air up. This air fill the gap between the outside container and the inner container. So all this air can go out from a little space. I remember you that we've cut the outside container half centimeters higher than the plant vase. So this gap is enough to let the air out. And we have another little air space between the inner, cer inner circle and the vase. We I remember you that we have three millimeters all around this little circle. So this creates like a, a circle of air that push away that side, very powerful, but this air coming from the fan starts to suck more air around the, um, the fan going inside the little circle. So isn't only the air of the fan coming against our face, but is also all the air surrounding the fan going inside this little hole and shooting outwards. So this is called the Venturi effect. We have an air ring that starts to suck more air. I hope you enjoyed the video, so let me know below with a thumbs up that is always appreciated. And as always, I leave you with my two previous projects, how to make a bird whistle, very nice, and also how to make a steampunk gun that shoots for real using dry ice. So see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao ciao!